Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. I just wanted to show you a couple little things and talk about some things that are happening. We have a new catalog release coming out soon. Um, and actually, there were a couple little things that were released early. And I'm going to actually show you one of those and um, talk about a whole bunch of things. But anyway, this is part of the new release. It's called Boutique Coaster Set. And it's a set of six coasters in a little um, container. And I'm going to tell you what is so special about these. If you are new to chalking, you might want to really consider these. But for tonight's project, I'm going to be using this transfer called Mary and Cheers. Or Cheer, wait, Cheers and Mary. I know it's late. Cheers and Mary. But let me tell you about the coasters first. These are made from our boutique surface, or as our boutique surface. And what that means is, anytime it's one of our boutique surfaces, it's fully erasable. Well, that's kind of weird. You wouldn't want coasters to be erasable, right? Well, you wouldn't generally, but if you're new to chalking and you're afraid of making mistakes, or afraid of a little oops, and, was, and are like, oh no, what if I, what if I garble it up? No worries. Totally, it's double-sided. They're four inch um, in diameter coasters, totally erasable. So if you make a little mistake, spritz your coaster with water and wipe it off. And then when you're finished with your design, if you like them and you're happy with them, just put a spray a sealer on there so that you can never wash it off. But basically, it's like our boutique um, um, frames and surfaces in that it is washable. It erases right off with water and a paper towel or a little board eraser or whatever. So that's what's really cool about these. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do one thing tonight. I'll show you. I'm, I'm, I only have one set of coasters, and I'm torn between <laughs> two ideas. So I thought I'll do one idea on one side of the coasters and my other idea on the other side of the coasters. But in reality, I also want to enhance or decorate the little container. But maybe that'll wait. We'll have to see how this goes. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. I know it's late tonight. It's been a crazy, crazy day. I hope everyone has had a nice holiday weekend. Drop me a line. Let me know where you're viewing from. That would be cool. And I know I keep I keep vacillating between how I cut my transfers and I'm going to try and go with keeping the, the backer sheet intact because I really like to be able to see the whole sheet hanging in my armoire as one piece. If I cut them, if I cut the backer sheet into individual pieces, then um, they're kind of hidden when they're hanging. So we'll try this. We'll see how this goes. I'm only going to cut out a few of them because I'm not going to do all of them. I think once you get the idea, you'll have the idea. It's really, really simple. If you are new to chalking, if you could butter toast, you can talk, chalk. I might not be able to talk, but I sure can chalk. Oh my goodness. No, seriously. Easy, 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 and when you're working on this kind of surface, it makes everything so much simpler. Now, of course, our transfers or our stencils and our paste and our ink can be used on many, many different surfaces. You don't have to use them on the boutique surface. You can use them on wood, on metal, on glass, on mirror, on canvas, on fabric, just about anything you can think of. But when you use them on our boutique surfaces, they are erasable. Or they're also erasable. The chalk paste is erasable from metal, glass, mirror, and ceramic. Okay, I think this is all I need to cut out for right now. And then I'm going to hop right into this. 
A lot of new happenings came with the first of the month of September. I can't believe it's September already. How did that happen? I know we're at the end of summer, but oh my goodness, what? where did it go, right? Anyway, we have a new perks pack. If you're thinking, oh gee, I wonder what it would be like to be a designer, I might like to do that. It is actually lots of fun. I love being a designer. I love the creativity, the camaraderie, um, sometimes the challenges, the fun of it. It's just amazing, and we have such a great group of talented designers that if you're stumped or you have a question, there's always someone to give you a little guidance and point you in the right direction. Okay, I'm going to start really quickly here with this little image here. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to fuzz it first. And what I think I'm going to do for tonight, because I'm going to make this kind of quick and simple, is I think I'm going to use the nominee. The nominee is as beautiful as far as paste go. It is metallic. It's a gold. It's just absolutely amazingly beautiful. And I think if you were wanting to make these coasters as a gift for somebody, I think it's something where you could not go wrong. And, and if you have someone who is celebrating their golden, their 50th anniversary, I can't think of anything nicer. This would be a really, really nice gift for someone celebrating their 50th anniversary, especially since it would be made by you, right? What's nicer than a handmade gift? Let me just grab a squeegee here. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the nominee paste, which is definitely a metallic. Apply the paste over the transfer. Cover all of the silk screen. What you're seeing is white is the silk screen you're seeing through the transfer through the vinyl transfer and through the silk screen to the surface beneath it. Get all of that covered up. Remove, oops, remove any lines, any excess paste. Put your excess paste back in the jar. And then lift up your transfer. I just need something to hold this down. I'm going to use the edge of my scissors as I lift up. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? And when it dries, it'll be very, very reflective. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me grab another transfer. There are six different, six different images. No, I shouldn't say that. There's six images that are circular, perfect for the coasters. And then there's the words Noel, Cheers, and Mary. And then there's this flower design and the stripe design that would be perfect actually on the base. But I think I might have something else in store for the base. So I need to think about that. I need to let that percolate a little bit and decide if what I'm thinking of is really what I want to do with it. And in reality, now this is on wood, so it's not erasable, but if it was for my little coasters, if I didn't like it, I could just erase it. Easy peasy, spritz it with water, use a board eraser or um, a paper towel or a board scraper to remove the image. Now, I'm gonna do this again. Show you how absolutely quick and easy and this nominee paste just glides on. It's so beautiful. I'm hoping there's more metallics in the works. Have you seen September's paste of the month? It's called Superstitious, and it is a nice, beautiful, oh, kind of almost like a fluorescent purple. Perfect for Halloween and other things, of course. But I thought it would go nice with our light green for Halloween decor. If you'd like to know more about this project and um, see a list of supplies or whatever, 
comment coaster and I will send that to you. If you'd like to know more about Club Couture, comment Club. Club Couture is a monthly subscription kit. $21.99 a month in the U.S., $26.99 in Canada. And every month you get an 8.5 by 11 inch transfer, three individual paste packets. See, I've got a little bleeder, a little blur there. I'm going to show you how you clean that up. And full video instructions and written instructions on how to complete the project. And you could do it as... Um, suggested or you can mix and match and put your own creative spin on things but basically club couture gives you about an hour or so of creative bliss straight to your door shipping is on us for just $21.99 a month and club members have special perks right now club members can get 25% off of our kits all they have to do is log into their um, account and they will see the discounted prices specifically for club members. That's your little perk for September. How cool is that? Club members also get reduced shipping. I think it's $5.99 for their first order of any month. Now you don't have to order every month. You don't have to order at any time if you don't want to. But if you do, you get a reduced flat weight, flat shipping. And if you're ordering our surfaces, really that's the way to do it because some of our frames, like our Verity frame, is very ornate and quite heavy. And when you get that flat right shipping, you really save some money on having that shipped to you. So if you'd like some more information about Club Couture, just comment Club and I will point you in the right direction. Okay, see how quick and easy this is? I'm removing the lines, removing the excess. Now, I'm using the, the Marion shears, but in reality, you could use any transfer that you wanted on these coasters. You don't have to make it holiday themed if you don't want to. Just put this out of the way to dry. And grab another transfer. Simple, simple, simple. Even a child could do it. Seriously, if you could butter toast, you can chalk. And if you'd like to dip your toe in the water and try chalking out at a very economical Price to just try it out. Um, comment chalk and I will let you know how you could do that. If you would like to be privy to additional videos, tips, tricks, specials, etc., and the occasional game, you need to be in my VIP group. VIP group is open to everyone except other designers. There's no obligation. It's lots of fun. It's been quite a while since we played a scavenger hunt game. I do that occasionally. But I also sometimes offer specials in my VIP group. So if you'd like to know more about the VIP group or would like to join the VIP group, just comment VIP and I will send you the information. Okay, look at this, how quick and easy. I've got almost four of these done. They're gonna take a little bit of time to dry. I don't know how long the nominee takes to dry actually. Usually our pastes are five to eight minutes. Our shimmers are a little bit slower to dry, kind of eight minutes or so. I would guess the nominee is probably along the same timeline. But look at, I'm just zipping through these. I've got four different designs already chalked. And once these are dry, they'll be ready to go.
What do you think? Let's see if I can pick up the first one and show you how it's... Oh, it's still drying. It's about halfway dry. I don't know if you could kind of see the shine there, but these are absolutely beautiful. So basically, you can use one color, do a one and done, using whatever design you choose on the coasters. You do not have to use something holiday um, themed or the Cheers and Mary. You could use anything that you actually have. And I think even in one color, it I think especially being nominee, I think this would make a very, very pretty set as a gift. Now I know this looks like a heat gun, but it is not a heat gun. It's our little drying tool. And it speeds up the drying. You don't want to use a heat gun. It's a little bit too hot. This is basically a little bit cooler air, but very, very focused and directed to one area. You just want to move it around a little bit. And it dries everything in no time. Wow, look at how shiny the paste is turning the gold, the reflection as it dries. Just the right elegant touch for this project. Just going to go back over each of them again to make sure everything's totally dry so that I don't smudge or blur anything with my fingers when I pick them up. Now, let me show you how to fix that little smudge. Okay, and this actually... Oh, this is not a good example. This is my broken detail tool, but the detail tool basically has a real pointy end on one end and a little um, small like squeegee on the other. So this is what I would use. I would come in here with my detail tool and I have to find the smudge. I'm not seeing it. Okay, it's right here. And I would just basically scratch it off. Just like that. Blow away the paste. And that's it. That fixed that little smudge. Easy. Couple seconds with a little detail tool. Obviously, if you don't have a detail tool, use a... Um, um, a toothpick or something like that. Now, as far as this other one that I smudged, though, when I hit it with the drying tool, I don't know if you could see it. It's just, it actually doesn't look bad. It dried pretty well. There's just, if you look at it, there's just this little tiny edge that's a little bit raised. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I don't think, if I didn't know it was there, I don't think anyone would notice it. Anyway, wouldn't these make a beautiful little gift for someone Great way to introduce yourself to chalking with no problems. If you make a little oops, wash it off, do it again. Simple and easy. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I surely do appreciate it. Hope everyone has a great week. I will see you soon.